Now, I just want to reemphasize this. I am 100% pro-life. I am outspokenly pro-life. I am so pro-life that I'll debate anybody on the topic at any time. The only exception I could possibly imagine is life of the mother. And I will defend that position morally, scientifically, and biologically, and philosophically. But introducing a piece of legislation that you do not have the votes for, like not even close to having the votes for, it's not going to pass, is the only rationale is that you want this election to be about abortion? And if it was Josh Hawley, I would say, okay, or Ted Cruz, why is Lindsey Graham, 25 days out from ballots going out, galloping in and saying, we need a federal abortion ban? Really, where have you been, Lindsey Graham? That feels like election interference. Sorry, the best part about that is I'm galloping in. It was fun. Uh, uh, These pundits, uh, Charlie Kirk, we're going to get to Matt Walsh. These conservative pundits are upset. They're having this battle in their brains over their policy versus their principle, their politics versus what they say they believe in. Uh, He's outspokenly pro-life. He'll debate anyone on this topic. I don't care. Unless we just might lose an election over those principles and those policies. Weird how that works. Because uh, he's mad at Lindsey Graham for, again, bringing up this nationwide abortion bill that just can't pass. It can't pass. Why is that your principle? Is it based off of passing or is it based off of you letting everyone know how much you staunchly believe in life? Let's let Chuck finish uh, talking about how mad he is at Lindsey Graham for pushing that policy versus the politics. Go. And I say this as someone who is so pro-life, I would love a total abortion ban. 15 weeks is not enough, but I'm also not dumb. 25 days out from ballots going out, the Democrats are applauding. Thank you, Lindsey Graham, for making this issue about abortion. They're enthusiastic that Lindsey Graham is now making this all about the one issue Democrats actually can win suburban women on. I wish that wasn't the case. Kirk wishes that wasn't the case that suburban women would side generally what she believes at least with democrats on this issue he didn't go to the next step of asking why would suburban women agree with democrats on this issue versus us it's just they just happen to agree with them those are constituents those are voters those are people uh that we call americans so we believe in them as long as they listen to you but once they disagree with your policy and your principles suddenly i don't know we we, we have to i don't know why they're even pursuing these people anymore it's almost like they don't matter Hmm, weird, because as I mentioned, Matt Walsh is another person. We're talking about election, uh, what, election interference, he called it. Matt Walsh has a different term for it, sabotage. Watch him. He's never been a big pro-life advocate in the first place. Like, Lindsey Graham? When does he ever show that he gives a damn about the pro-life cause? In the past, when Republicans have controlled the government, Lindsey Graham wasn't leading the charge to pass pro-life legislation. And there are things that could have been done even when Roe v. Wade was still active. So when they actually have the ability to do something, he doesn't want to do anything. And when the bill can't pass, that's when he's behind it. It, it You know, it's, it's almost like he wants Republicans to lose. That's the conspiracy theory that I would actually uh, subscribe to here. He wants Republicans to lose. This is a, uh, this is sabotage. It's the only way to explain it. G- given who it's coming from, especially in this case, I don't even believe that it's sincere. This to me s- seems like sabotage because there are Republicans who want to be the minority party. They want to be the opposition. They want to be in the position of, of, of proposing laws that they know cannot pass. That's just what Republicans do. So, Dan, we've got a couple of pundits here that are upset about principles that they're staunchly fighting for unless it loses them an election then suddenly those principles have flown right the hell out the window. Uh, First of all, my philosophy, anytime there are Republicans fighting other Republicans, let them fight. I want more. Please uh, tear the whole thing apart. I love every single time this happens. I I, I just have to comment there because I 
was about to go in on Matt Walsh the same way I've gone on people like Ben Shapiro, like do a whole like long series on him. But I'm like, this is not worth it. He's such a clown. He's such a troll. But after making that whole using basically fracking money to make pathetic homophobic agitation propaganda with his documentary, he's really feeling himself. He's gone like the full Rush Limbaugh. He's like got the radio. He's got the banjo behind him. He's just really trying to troll here. But I do love the fact that Lindsey Graham is doing Well, I mean, he's doing what Republicans are doing really well, which we on the left complain about Democrats who are uh, not willing to go far enough and fight against Republicans. The far right, what they complain about with Republicans is that that they shoot themselves in the foot, that they get greedy, that they aren't sneaky enough to wait until you get in power and then do all the dangerous things. And so what you're (laughs) seeing is Charlie, like Charlie Kirk, I got stuff for him too. Uh, tall boy over there using the phrase election interference on Lindsey Graham. No, no, no. The knives are out for this guy. (laughs) Like when you're mixing the phrase election interference, which has become such a like coded, like powerful phrase for everything the uh, Republican electorate is pissed off about right now, you are basically sending a message that Lindsey Graham is a rhino and I mean, like Republicans have just been fed ads this election cycle of rhino hunting season and things that happen to rhinos along with the other political violence that's happening in this country. So, no, this is a very deliberate effort that I definitely want to continue watching to see um, which of these pundits decide to go for blood, so to speak, politically or otherwise, especially if the Republicans lose um, more than expected in the midterms. What this is showing that it's more about power than it is about principle. It's about control over people's lives. And they can't have control over people's lives if they're not in office. They're using all these things as a way to get into office. We talked about uh, about other issues that mean nothing. That's why they're pushing uh, uh, trans women in sports and all this. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. It was it was a uh, busloads of migrants before. It was Mr. Potato Head before. Constantly, it's always something that has nothing to do with actual policies but they just want to throw it out there so people are upset about it enough that they can then vote for them, then they get to controlling your lives, acting like that they don't.